morning, everyone. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we celebrate the feast day of Saint Cyril and Methodius. And incidentally, uh, it is our pastor's feast day, uh, Cyril. So let us begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind the fact that, yes, we are sinners, but God's mercy is greater than any sin we can and his love and forgiveness is greatly abundant. You were sent to heal the sorrowful in heart, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Lord. Came to give hope to sinners in darkness, and so we ask, Christ, have mercy. You plead for eternal redemption before our Heavenly Father, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Lord. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who enlightened the Slavic peoples through the brothers of Saints Cyril and Methodius, grant that our hearts may grasp the words of your teaching and perfect us in a people of one accord in true faith and right confession through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. James. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in high standing, and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flower of the field. For the sun comes up with its scorching heat and dries up the grass, its flower droops and the beauty of its appearance vanishes so will the rich person fade away in the midst of his pursuits. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I hold to your promise. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. To me, Lord, and I shall live. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live.
The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depths of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord. First of all, a few words about our, our celebrants today of Cyril and Methodius in the 8th century. They were sent as missionaries to Eastern Europe, and uh, they were both, uh, well, they were brothers, and they were born in Greece, in Greece. And uh, they spent a great amount of time in, um, in uh, Ukraine, and in Moravia and many other places where they brought the gospel. In fact, St. Cyril um, devised a Syriac language by which the gospel can be proclaimed in the, in the native language of the people there. It was a great, great, great testament to his, his ability. Uh, he passed away first and then St. Uh, uh, Methodius became the bishop of Moravia and they continued both to spread the gospel of the Lord, particularly through Eastern Europe. Pope St. John Paul II had made them the patrons of, of Europe. And so we can pray to them for the help that we need uh, in living our Christian lives. Now, St. James tells us, um, rejoice in your trials. Well, I don't think too many of us are able to do that, to rejoice in our trials. But of course, he's speaking in a different uh, mode, and, and, and he's speaking the, the spiritual language of confidence in God. Have confidence in God, and no matter what trial you may face, God will be with you. God will be with you. He will stand by you and see you through it all. And so he knew trial and persecution himself, for he himself was beheaded as the bishop of Jerusalem. And uh, so he, he knows well of what he speaks. In our uh, Sister Fox, in the little booklet that many of you have, there had a, has a, a nice triple um, uh, trial uh, meditation. She said, first of all, we have trials Everyone, she says, from, you know, at different times in our lives. We have trials, first of all, in, the, in our prayer life. Sometimes our prayer life goes dry. It comes actually maybe even being in boring. And she says that uh, what we have here is the consolation in knowing that God stands by us. And even though we may not have that fervence of prayer and that, that peace of mind and heart and soul and, uh, in our prayer life, we remember, uh, I'm sure, uh, uh, the great Mother Teresa experienced that different times in her great, great, great work that she did. She experienced dry periods where she felt that God was probably not even listening to her. Sometimes we, f we feel something like that ourselves, and, and uh, she says, don't worry about it. God is on your side. He's with you, and he'll see you through it. The second trial that she says is uh, that a lot of us experience are, are, is, is gossip. You know, people say bad things about us or wrong things about us, and we know that we're, we are right, or we know that that is not the truth, but yet, we, we, we don't give in to despair or we don't give in to uh, you know, darkness in our lives and just throw it all away. Now she says that God's grace is abundant. You know, God's grace is abundant to us and God knows that we are in the right. God knows that we live the, a true life, a good life. No matter what other people say, no matter what they think, they can do whatever they want. As long as God knows 
that you're on his side and he is on your side. And the third trial, she says, that we usually go to, many of us, is um, trials of temptation, that's daily. <laughs> trials of temptation. And she, she likens it like a coin. She says, and you look at one side of, the, of a coin and you see darkness, despair, temptation, um, you know, no, no future. And you turn that coin over and you see God's face and you see hope and you see uh, grace and you see uh, God helping you through these temptations. And so that, and it says that God's grace is greater, and she says, than any temptation that we can be uh, assaulted with. So those three temptations, I think, are pretty much natural to most of us. But again, St. James, and of course, Sister, um, and, uh, is telling us, be fervent, be confident, God is with you. We don't need signs, as Jesus says. We just know that our faith is secure enough for us. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be blessed with wise and faithful leaders and hold fast to the truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our national leaders will work to promote the common good and true justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Harry Kirby, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother for her powerful intercession as well. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, womb Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners. sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands I made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, for the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. And Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and pray that knowing God is on our side, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Look, O oh Lord, upon the offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Cyril and Methodius, and grant that these gifts may become the sign of a new humanity, reconciled to you in loving charity, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, a duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. From the marvelous confession of St. Cyril and Methodius and all of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. 
So, Lord, with all of the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray that, sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, your devoted husband, with St. Cyril and Methodius, and all of the apostles, martyrs, and saints that please you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence, as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress and false accusations as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you this morning. And let us with happiness share that peace with one another. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Please serve those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
disciples went forth and preached the gospel, while the Lord worked with them, confirming their words through accompanying signs. Let us pray. O God, Father of all nations, who make us sharers in the bread and the one spirit, and heirs of the eternal banquet, grant in your kindness on this feast day of St. Cyril and Methodius that the multitude of your children, preserving in the same faith, may be united in building up the kingdom of justice and peace. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in his peace. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day.